Hello and welcome members. How to recover permanently deleted file in Windows 11. So as you know the title here in this video we are going to talk about and we will show you that how you can recover these files that has been already mentioned in the title. So all this operation and steps we're going to show according to the Windows 11 environment. So let's switch to the Windows 11. Now here we are connected to our Windows 11 machine and if you accidentally deleted a file so the first place to check this the file the, where, the, where the file gone is to find out the recycle bit. So all you need to do is to tap the recycle and it may open the recycle bin. And if you try to type here on the search, so definitely it will navigate you to where to the link. So all you need to do is to open the recycle bin and first locate the file on the recycle bin. And now, if you don't see the file in the recycle bin directory, then all you need to do is to right click over the file if you're able to find out the file. So you need to do what? You need to right click on the file and it will restore the file where it, it belongs. So once restored, you can find the file in its original location. So let's, for example, these are our Windows 11 videos. And let's say that if I delete this new text document, right? So I have to go to the recycle bin to locate this file. And in order to restore that file on the same location, so I need to do what? I need to go to the recycle bin and right click on that specific file and click to the restore. So what's going to happen that when you go back again and then we get back to that directory where you have deleted the file, So you're going to find that file has restored and it, it just like that the file has not been deleted so far. So this is the basic and you know a common way to find out and restore the file. But Windows 11 has a built-in backup tool called file history. So if you had it enabled before deleting your file, you might be able to recover it and how you can Deep, deep dig into that concept so you need to go to the file explorer and navigate to the folder where the file deleted was stored so let's delete this file and create this scenario as it says now here you can right click to go to the properties and here you need to switch to the previous version tab and here you can see if a backup exists You can select the previous backup. So currently it is like uh, 4 a.m. and 19th of the date, but the current recent backup has been done on 18th of the same month. So which means the backup is there and the file history is already turned on and your file are restored, can be easily restored. So you can click to that specific backup And in this way, you will find out your file that you just deleted from this folder. So this is the way you can restore your file. The first way we have showed you the conventional and traditional way to go to the recycle bin and then restore the file from the recycle bin and then the file goes back to that specific directory. But here, in this method, you are utilizing the file history tool So you need to turn on this file history and then it will work for you. Now another way is to restore using the Windows Backup because if you regularly create backup using Windows Backup so you can restore files from there as well. And to access this setting you need to open the control panel from here. And here on the control panel you will go to the backup and restore Windows 7. And once you click here then click to here as you can see the backup has not been done so if you have a backup this method should bring your file back but what if you don't have a backup so you need some other third party tool because you haven't made the backup and there are other tools available that you can use for this backup purpose and there is another way that you can also use to get back the same file from deletion which is what because the Microsoft offers free tools called Windows File Recovery 
which can help recover per permanently deleted files. So in that case, when you like you use the shift delete combination key on your keyboard to delete a file or you empty to recycle bin. So this specific tool offers you what that it recovers all your permanently deleted files. And let's see how it, how it, to use it. Now let's search for the Windows file recovery. So if you try to search that specific tool so it won't be available here so you need to do what you need to open the Microsoft Store and then search this specific tool on the Microsoft Store and here we're going to type Windows file recovery and Windows file recovery app is there and all you need to do is to click to get and this specific tool will take a while to be installed in your machine so here you can see that we are discussing the steps and the commands and then the and the method to get back the file and also we are introducing you with the tool and how you can get these tools in windows 11 environment now here once you open this windows file recovery because it is open in the cmd format so let's say locate this file again windows file recovery and you need to run it as administrator this should be done in order to run the specific tool now once you launch it as the administrator you need to run the command like windows fr space c c what c is the source directory where you have done the deletion because c with the drive where the file was deleted and then d d with the recovery destination so this tool is useful if you are comfortable with the cli tools but if you prefer a graphical interface so you can look at the third party software like recuva east us and there are a lot more third party tools that i've already used in different windows versions like windows 10 windows 7 windows 11 all these uh, versions works with different third party tools that you can use to recover all these deleted files and let me complete this command as well so then windows win frc d colon forward slash extensive and then you need to run this command same as i typed and once you type that that all the files that has been deleted with let's say from the c drive will be copied and recovered from c to the d folder and that's how it works so this is the cli tool and there are you know other third party gui based tools that you can use and that's how you can recover permanently deleted files in windows 11. so remember to enable the file history that is the essential and vital thing vital feature that you need to turn on and create regular backups to avoid data loss in the future and if you find this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.